On this weekly injection, how to mix and master for vinyl. I love them. I keep on releasing them. They're nice. They also smell fantastic. There are no major differences in mixing and mastering for vinyl. However, vinyl doesn't like stereo bass. Because of the physics of how vinyl is cut, you cannot have stereo bass. That's why the mastering engineer usually collapses the low end into mono for vinyl cutting. So that's something that might influence your mixing as well. If you're putting a bass all the way to the left, then you will have to remember that probably the low end of that bass will end up in the center anyway. Something to think about. And that applies also to stereo basses. You cannot have stereo basses on vinyl. The low end will be collapsed in the center, so you might just not want to choose a stereo bass to begin with. Then there is the loudness issue. Not that you should be very, very loud anyway in general with mastering, but especially vinyl likes to have a little bit of dynamic range. So if you make your master extremely loud, uh, vinyl is not going to like it so much. Then there are limitations in terms of how long a track can be. Depending on if you're cutting a 7-inch or a 12-inch, if it's going to be 33 RPM or 45 RPM, you're going to have different maximum length per side. Here in the description you can find a little table of maximum playtime based on the type of vinyl that you're pressing. That will influence the length of the mix. Otherwise, the advice is always the same. Be inspired, be tasteful and make great music.